you. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for honoring my father in heaven. Father in heaven, worship you. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. You have on the table a lasting relationship with Jesus Christ. You will find it in a different language, French, Spanish, English, and your language, and your language by faith. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, I know God is with you. That is why you are here. If God is not with you, you will not cross the sea, ocean, air, and be here today. God is with you. You sleep, you wake up, God is with you. You sit freely, looking freely, laughing freely, God is with you. I can hear your email. God is with you. Amen. You know what you have, where you are coming from. You have 
come all the way, trial, persecution, what has killed many, you have gone through it. You walk through the valley of shadow, of death. Here you are today. God is with you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God is with me. God is me. I say, God is with me. God is me. That is just the word Emmanuel. And say, Emmanuel, people don't know the meaning. Emmanuel, say, God is with me. They was all over the world. Thank you for your time. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. You have, uh, I have seen the, the atmosphere is so joyful. Amen. So joyful, the atmosphere. And I want to say thank you, Jesus. Mm. So we have many things to talk about, but we keep, we take it little by little as the spirit direct. Mm. And uh, if I, if I may talk to your heart, not you, I want to talk to your heart. Because I know what your heart is yearning for now. Your heart is yearning for something. I know. Your heart is you know, talking, if I'm talking to you without talking to your heart, a prayer from heart is prayer of heart. Mm, talking to you without talking to your heart, I'm not talking to you. I say when I talk to you without talking to your heart, I have not talking to you. Hallelujah. Yes. Knowing God is not only seeing his work, but learning his way. Tell your neighbor, Knowing God is not only seeing his work, but learning his way. I can hear you. Yes, learning his way. Knowing God is not only seeing his work, miracle, Oh, medical, oh, sign, medical, oh, wonder, medical. Not, but learning his way. Yes, when you learn his way, you will, you will, you will, you will, you, you walk with his project. Act with his project. You know God has project. Many projects that's God's project. You work with his project. You know God's opinion about others, about yourself. When you begin to learn in his way, you begin to know God's opinion about yourself and about others work with his project. He has project. Hallelujah. Are you there? So let's just speak because I have many things to talk about. Mostly about this faith bracelet. Which it has not gone run. Few, just few have, have, have them. Because I don't want you to begin to use it like a religious people. We are not a religious people. We are Christian. Are you with me? I want you to begin to, I don't want you to begin to use it as a religious people. We are not religious people. We are Christian. Yes, faith bracelets, which some of you have already, is with me here. You can put it on the screen, let's see. Put it on the screen. Put it on the screen for the viewers at home so that they can see and know what I'm talking about. At the table, please.
I realize we live in two language world. We live in two language world. I realize that. This is why the Bible says we are in the world, but we are not part of them. It means there are two. We live in, in help me remove A, in two language words and poorer words. Yes, thank you on the table. We live in two language words. The word of the Bible, the word of the Bible, and the word of today. The word of the Bible and the word of today. Mean the language of the Bible and the language of today. Let me take you to the so the faith bracelet, you can put it side by side with what I'm about to talk about. Please at the table there. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let's go to the book of John and see what I'm talking about. Are you there? We have just 10 minutes to talk about this next meeting. We keep talking about that. We are going to have seminar concerning the faith bracelets so that you will not begin to use it as a religious people so that that will not lead to blasphemy blasphemy people will begin to blaspheme i'm taking my let's open the book of john john 17 Are you there? Let me take that verse 16. Oh. Verse 16. They are not of the world. They are not of the world. Are you there? Just as I am not of the world. Hmm. They are not of the world, just as I'm not. Who is talking there? Jesus, our heavenly Father. Me, you are not of the world, just as I'm not. That is what Jesus said. They are not you, just Jesus are not. Me, we are in the world, but we are not part of them. I'm talking of we live in two language world the world of the Bible and the world of today let you take it from the language of the Bible the language of the Bible that God uses to create and save us. The language of the Bible that God uses to create and save us, to heal and bless us, to judge and rule over us. That is the language of the Bible. To judge and rule over us That is the one you live. That is the one you are part. That is the world you are living as a Christian. That is the world you are living. This is why Bible says we live in the world, but not, we are not part of them. We live in the world, but we are not part of them. We are in the world, but we are not part of them. We are part of that world. 
language of the Bible, word of the Bible, that God uses to create and to save us. To heal and to bless us. To judge and to rule over us. That is the world you are living. If truly you are a Christian, we have this today to talk about. The other word, word of the today, word of today, which you are not part, but others, as we are talking, many are in the clubhouse, many are in the mm, many are this, many are that. Others live today's world. That is today's language we use to gossip. Today language we use to gossip. To talk stories. To do business. You know that kind of business I'm talking about. To do business. Today's language. We use today language to do business. To gossip. To give direction. To talk to our children. Foolish. Leave this place. Bastards. That is today. We I'll kick you. Beep. You know when you are very aggressive. You know the way you talk to your children. That is today what? Today what? Today language. We use it to talk to our children. To sing songs. You can see even what lay people can begin to sing gospel, gospel song. You know this one is a worldly man, but sings gospel song. Beautiful song, people will dance, people will say, ah, and they will quote the Bible and sing songs. You know what? They, okay, they used to sing song too. In order not to in order to take you out of today's language because Christians today many Christians today are 50-50 they say they are Christian but 50-50 language of the Bible language of today 50-50 they say in Jesus name bless me bless me please leave the place bastard they say mouth 50-50 and if it is 50-50 you cannot take control you cannot rule over evil spirit you cannot take dominion over Satan this is why today you say the name of Jesus be here nothing happen because you just come from I will curse you. You don't know me. You just come from there. So it has become 50-50. Today, I mean, language of the Bible, language of today, which we used to gossip. We used to talk to you. Do business. You know that kind of business. You have, you have as many as five business cards in your pocket. You are the architect. You are the accountant. You are the lawyer. There's nothing. Anything. If you have a contractor, you don't know anything about it, you get it, you call people to do it and collect commission. Just like that. A lot of business cards are in your pocket. You are just waiting for whatever they call, you are there. If they say, who is contractor here? You are out again. Because we don't know God's opinion about what we are doing. You don't know your destiny work. His job is your destiny work. 
you pro prosper with it and you have joy with it. But when you don't know your destiny well, you are just see people doing it and you join them doing it. When there's failure in business you are doing, you leave the job. You find yourself doing another job. And failure should not stop us because the Bible says there is more to learn in failure than success. If I'm talking to you, let me talk there to see your hand. Tell your neighbor, there is more to learn in failure than from success. Yes. There is more lesson to learn in failure than from success. A lot of lesson. There is more lesson to learn in sorrow, in trial. Than laughter or joy. There's more lesson to learn. But when we are doing business and we, we, we catch disappointment or trouble coming on our way, we begin to think whether that business is not from God or that is not the right business to do. We begin to look for other business. And there's no business you will do without encounter trial. Yes, we are talking about Religious people, which many of you might have known about, you have something you call maybe, I don't know, they count it with their hand and they talk it with their mouth. But Christianity, the one we are talking about, you count it with your hand, you talk it with your heart. If you talk it with your mouth, this is not from faith, it's of hearts, not of, of hearts. We count it with our hand, we talk it with our heart. Are you with me? You count it with your hand and you talk it with your wall mean you can it's not going to disturb your business why you are you can you can be you, 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 you can be watching television or football or any program and counting your face count your faith means speak the language of the Bible you have you are just read meditate the language of the Bible you are you just read you you know you read Bible you know how to read Bible but you don't know how to meditate it when you read you abandon it there what you have read what you read every day assume you meditate over it your, your situation your, you will not look like this your relationship with God will have been very well but there's nothing like that we know how to read Bible but we don't know how to meditate and meditation brings revelation when you don't meditate you cannot see revelation you cannot have revelation and when you don't meditate you cannot see vision you cannot know God's opinion about yourself and about God about yourself, about others. Are you with me if I'm talking to you, let us see you. You know you read Bible, but you don't know how to meditate. When you read Bible without meditation, 
you don't meditate what you read it's like you are reading history you are reading about events the difference between bible and the history book this is bible holy men were carried along as they were spoken by the spirit of god you must also be carried along by the spirit of god while reading and how can you be carried along you read with your heart whatever you read must come here not here there's different when you read book when you read history chemistry biology other books you read to memorize them because when you start your university your first degree you have to memorize it if you are still going for a master degree because it's not possible for anyone to put everything he read from first degree and still want to be at the center of that first degree you have to abandon those things and pursue your second degree it means what you are reading is here that is why some professor today if you give them a subject about the first degree they may likely fail it because they have abandoned the first degree they are pursuing and give them the first degree the the, the, the the first degree subject what they have learned in the past they may likely fail it and they are the best professor because what they are reading is memorized we are not memorized bible we 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 put it in our heart we believe it we believe it what we read Count your faith. Mean what you have read in the Bible. As you read, you meditate in it. Revelation come. How do we meditate? If I read the subject in Genesis, from Genesis one to to the end you have to sit down and, clo and, and close your bible and uh, ask yourself what this chapter says about you and about god you, that is your summary before you leave you just summarize you shouldn't read bible because you want to preach it or you want to you you, you want to teach it we today read bible because we want to preach it you want to you want to teach it and preach it to people no and we are not read bible because we want only because we want to preach the word we read it to live it in it and to act it because as we open bible we see ourselves it's mirror it's mirror you see yourself there we read bible but we don't meditate in it if you have been meditating in the bible you have revelation that is vision you begin to live in celestial that is material world that is immaterial world I mean. if you have been meditate in the bible what you read you know i have given you a good example brother give me okay this is your bible when you sit down and read your bible you open a chapter and you read after finish reading it you have to close it there and sit down and write the summary of what you have read what that chapter says about you about god about others read it if you don't that you open it and read and look at it the area that is personal 
you incite your name. There's some sentence that say, Thou shalt not, I shall not. Thou, you put I shall not. You begin to put where area message is personal. You incite your name. That is in your summary. In your summary. After that, you now look at it. Look at it. Look at it. How does what does this say? How does this reflect to me? What does this say about my way of life? What does this say about my, my character, my family, myself, everybody around me? That is the summary. This is what you are going to meditate. Today we want to read Bible and be sunny in it and argue it. Somebody says, okay, what does Genesis say? Oh, Genesis 14 say, Genesis 13 say, Genesis 14 say, you see some preacher will say, yeah, amen, amen. Okay, open the book of Jonah. Open the book of, before you open another, you say open the, they read it to, and memorize. This is the reason why they read the Bible. Not to live in it, but to preach it. Because it's not possible for you to begin to quote Bible from Genesis and say, and uh, yeah, uh, the book of John, the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis, the book of James. Even in it's just a teaching preaching, someone alone in the church, some preacher will give you a Bible verse up to 30. Before you open one, you open it. Before you open it, you open it. You ask yourself, is it really ready to live in it or to preach it? When we are not in the school. We are not in the school. It's going to tell you when the, the book of the, the Hebrew language of this, the Hebrew language of this, what the, the, the reflection of this, what this means, this is the, when the Bible was written, the episode, the episode, as if he was there. And this is a somebody that is not even from the, it's not an Hebrew, it's not Greek. This is to tell you the level, what, what is wrong today. We have to read Bible and live in it. No? Just read it to appreciate. So when, it, when you have read your Bible and summarize it and put weird messages personal, this, the summary, you must have a note as you read your life, as you read your life. This is what you are going to meditate. Here come faith bracelets. Here come what? Here come what? As you are sitting down now, this is, I'm expecting you, as you are looking at me, because the Bible says, this faith, faith bracelet, what will do for you? Count your faith in whatever you do. As you are sitting down, it should be in your hand. Who is this man? Oh Lord. Who is this man that is talking to me? Oh Lord. Lord Jesus, take more of me. I want to see more of what is going on. I want to know the power and wonder. I really want to know who is this man that is talking to me. Oh Lord. Your mouth will not move. Your heart. If you begin to do, I want to know this man and people hear what you are saying. I want to know this man. I want to say this is another. You are talking to people that hear you. When people hear you, the, those who hear you are those who will hear what you say. God will not hear you. If I'm talking to you, come, brother, come here. See, listen to me. Oh Lord, who is this man that's standing before me that is talking? I want to know the power I'm under. What power am I under? I really want to know. Jesus, show me this man in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Jimmy, you hear me? Yes, sir. You hear me, but God will not hear me. Now, the one that God will hear, you talk to me. You, you can call me. Daddy. Oh, how are you? And I'm, I'm busy with my war. I'm busy with war. Because I will only, this is what I will use to hear you and my heart to hear God. That is why it's possible for me to do million things at the same time. You can call me, you can talk to me, you can talk to me, and I also talk to God. Stand up, sir, stand up, stand up. 
you choose to say ask me what you, whatever you want why i'm talking to god and god is talking to me you can also choose to say is it that you call me is it that you ask me and i will answer you that will not stop me from because you whatever you say i will hear you here with my ear i will hear you with my ear i will hear you with my ear i will hear you with my ear i will hear the whole child with my ear but this is only place god used god is the only one that used this place and if you are not for god satan also use it it's here so there is no no language no 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 disturbances here it's only where celestine that enter here what i believe is what come here imagination here by belief here that is why it's possible for me i can be talking to you and at the same time i'm talking to my god because we are not using the same medium you are using ear you are using ear i use ear to hear you you use ear but god use hearts our heart because only faith places him and faith is of man's heart not man ear not man flesh not man mind man, of man heart heart means spirit in the bible you choose to say heart or you choose to say spirit is the same way i'm not talking of academic in your school is different thing. but come to knowledge of god heart spirit is the same so therefore if if i'm now begin to say in the name of jesus look at what i hope in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all the people that hear me will hear me but god will not hear me it's when you are not hear what i'm saying that god will hear what i hear what i say so you now begin it is time now you begin to learn how to talk in in your hearts you have been talking in your mouth with your mouth but you don't know how to talk in, with your hearts this will teach you sometimes you're in trouble look come on a robber the an arm robber will come to your premises with gun they will shoot go, 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 go. at that moment you will not be able to talk but your heart will talk Amen. your heart will say I command you in the name of Jesus surrender and the arm robber will not hear but you will surrender <laughs> but the arm man that carry gun I'll kill you boop, 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 and put bullet here will you be will you be able to say when the bullet is bullet is here will you be able to say in the name of Jesus remove it but your heart. What do you need to say? From where? From the heart. Huh? From the heart. From your heart. Your heart will yearn, will cry, Father, and the robber will not hear it, and he will submit. <laughs> but today, when the robber put gun here, okay, say Jesus. Jesus. That is when they will kill you. <laughs> that will provoke them mm, to kill you the more. Because this one never sent you to chat like that. <laughs> because he sent you to say, Jesus, okay, let me give you a good example. If tiger, lion is about to come and is at the garage there, you know garage? The garage you, you are coming from, and the tiger is there. You hear? Oh. and i say okay let's pray and send this tiger back you stood up and say oh jesus <laughs> you know you'll be able to close your eye jesus jesus send this tiger and you open your eye you see tiger at the gate here <laughs> will you be able to close your eye <laughs> maybe you don't understand what i'm saying you know the boss up there suddenly we hear tiger lion ten lion are Ruade. We are coming to synagogue. I will say, eh? Tiger is shouting that he is coming to synagogue. And I say, right so. 
you will listen to me. We are close up here. Let us pray. We say, fire, 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 fire. We hear, oh, we open our eyes. We see tiger at the gate. You see tiger at the gate here. You say, ah, oh, you, see that God, where are you? Will you be able to listen to me when I say close your eyes? That in the same way, if a robber that is outside your door, shooting, and he starts you come and open the door, you say, hey, 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 hey. you say, Jesus, Emmanuel, if truly you are a child of God, TB Joshua, they want to kill me now. They want to kill me now. Don't let me die and leave my children. If truly what people are saying about you, I don't believe, but they keep abusing you, they keep blaspheming your name. I believe you are from child, you are a child of God. Send them back. Before you say this, the robber enter. Will you be able to chat again? They say, ah, they enter. They say, yes, we are we are broken your door. We are here to kill you. What do you have? At that moment, heart. Hmm. Heart to heart. Your heart and the rubber heart. Talk is heart. The word that comes from heart is word of heart. From that moment, he should say to you with gone. You talk to her, to his heart, heart to heart, words. But today we don't know that. We only believe in shouting alone, crying. Uh, you thought Daniel crying in the lion there? When, like, when Daniel was saying, Daniel is a, he was a human being, sit down. Daniel was a human being, just like you. When they were about to, when they were warning him, he went straight to the upper room and opened his window to Israel, Jerusalem. What is the meaning of that? He opened at the penthouse. It's like the, the government said, yes, TV Joshua, we are coming. We execute you. I say, ah. And I know I have God as a human being. The next, the Daniel immediately, the one that came to him that they are about to take him. He went straight to his to the upper house, which is penthouse, which everyone have, and opened his window to Jerusalem. Why? He crying to God. You know what Daniel said? It was not written, written in the Bible. But spiritually, God can tell you what he said. No one wants to die. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, at the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, let this cup, woo. cup what? Pass over. That is me. Look, I don't want to die. That is the meaning. That is our Savior at first. When they were about to come and he went to the mountain, he said to himself, Hey, let this cup pass over. That is, they should cancel this day. Lord, cancel this day. Cancel this day. I don't want to go this way. It was the Spirit of God that came to minister to him. I said, What are you saying? You are not sent to do your will, but the will of Heavenly Father. What are you talking about? And immediately he changed his confession. By saying, let the will of God be done. Amen. That is our talk. Christian, when we don't talk, and we don't know how to talk with our heart, you cannot talk to God. I'm talking to you so that you hear me. If I'm alone, I don't need to shout. Whom am I talking to? But I'm talking to you so that you hear me. But when I'm alone with myself, I don't need to shout. And when I'm in the prayer line now today, you watch me. At the beginning, once I say in the name of Jesus, for you to know the name I'm using, once I measure that name, I move. The rest is heart. 
heart. I will stretch my hand, heart, my hand. Stretching hand is to tell, stand up, sir. Stretching hand is to tell you I want to pray for you. Whether you like it or not, I will connect to your heart. Become heart to heart. That is why you don't see me talk. Hypocrisy will say, in the name of Jesus, I'll be here. 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 Does it mean that Jesus is deaf and dumb? Once you call him, he follow you. At the prayer land, any moment from now, you have been washing what happened for long. When I get there, just wash. At the beginning, once, if it is 100 row that I'm going to pray for, 1,000 people. The first people, once I let you know, praise the Lord, right now, surrender, give your life to Jesus, and I let you know the purpose we are here. And I say, at first person, I say, in the mighty name of Jesus, be here. Already, I'm connected to him. So if I connected to him, why should I continue to call his name when I am with this man? I'm connected to him. The healer is with me. Why should I call his name again here? My is to stretch my hand. Is to stretch my hand. It is not your flesh we are praying for, your heart. Once your heart is getting, once we get your heart, you have, you have no control again. In the same day, when it, an attacker comes to your house, like a, an armed robber, they're about to shoot you, you don't begin to, to an armed robber, you cannot send away at a distance. You have been praying that, God, I don't want to see the, the attacker. I don't want the killer to come to my house. For a long time, any time you pray, you pray for protection. But suddenly, you, you are now seeing someone with gun enter your house. Are you telling me that is the time to shout, lead me in Jesus' name? Was it the time to do that? No. It's heart to heart. When you are to heart, it will just be arrested. You don't look at you and be talking, I want to kill you. Someone say, I should come and kill you. Why is he talking to you in your heart? <laughs> As if you agree with what he's saying. He says, someone says, I should come and kill you. You say, <laughs> Before you know, you will say, I'm sorry. Someone sent me to come and kill you. This is the gun. <laughs> so, this will train you how to really, don't let us deceive ourselves. 70% that claim to be Christian, they are not Christian. You may be one of them. Tell your neighbor, 80%, I add more. I say I add more, not 70. 80% that claim to be Christians are not. They are religious people. You, tell, you may be one of them, tell. Tell your neighbor, you may be one of them. And you will not know. You keep saying, I'm born again. Not until the attacker come. Look. Faith can, in whatever you do, if you are sitting down and you are not busy counting your faith, the, 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 the summary of what you have read in the Bible, the last time you read the Bible, tell me why today's language will not dominate you. You cannot be neutral. If you don't speak language, the language of the Bible, you definitely speak today's language. To say, I will not talk, it's not possible. I will not talk the language of the Bible, I will not talk to this language. It's not possible. You must talk. You may not talk with your mouth, but your heart will continue yearning. You look around and say, ah, this man's attire is fine. When I leave this church today, I'm going to look for it. Inside the church. Can you see how worldly you are? 
And that is not the reason why you are here. So, when you have this faith bracelet, you, at the beginning, it may be tough. You find yourself talking with your mouth. But once you know that, uh, no, when you talk with your mouth, people around you will hear you, but God will not hear you. But when you talk with your heart, then you talk, you count your faith. Because their faith lies. Christianity lying in the heart. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I don't I can't hear you. In the heart. When you say you are a Christian, me heart. It's not your look, your this, your that. Christianity lies in the heart. Because Faith is of man's heart, and only faith pleases God. And you don't talk with your heart. You never, you don't know how to talk with your heart. You don't talk with your heart. The only thing that goes through your heart is corruption, spirit of loss. A lot of things going through your heart all the time. You keep, you want out, you can smoke and you can drink, because this thing has occupied your heart. Because you have not been talking the language of Bible. If the language of Bible have taken over your heart, there is no room for today's language. If now you leave, you fly to South Africa, this one will be in your hand. You are on the air. This is counting your faith. Counting your faith. You open your Bible, you just read your Bible. From what you have read, you summarize out, you have your faith. You have something to count. And I, I'm telling you what can't your faith mean, speak the language of the Bible. And the language of the Bible that God uses to create and to save us, to heal and to bless us, to judge and to rule over us. That is the language of the Bible. The today language we use to gossip. To do what? To do what? To talk to our children. Chat to our children. To give direction. You just say, take this side. If you take this, I don't know. To do business. You know. And to seek song and to tell story 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 so this is why after sitting down i look at ah, how can people be spiritual spiritual mean to live in the world and the world to live in us to live in what? I can't understand. To live in the word, that is the word of God. And the word of God to live in us. Say it again. To be spiritual is to live in the word. And the word to live in us. Because the word that God used to create and to save us. So me, if you have this word, you create and also to save people. If you have this way, you bless people, also heal people. If you have this way, you judge, also to rule over Satan and demon. But where, where does this world live? In our heart. But you, don't, you can't talk in your heart. And how? We, I want to stop here so that we continue where we stop. To next meeting. You want to live here and start it now. Is I have mentioned to you, you have to read your Bible. Read with devotion. How do we read it with devotion? When you want to read your Bible with devotion, 
This is my Bible. I want to read my Bible with devotion. I will have to look at where I'm coming from since morning and compare today, tomorrow. Yesterday, I mean. Ah, since tomorrow to since today, it has not been easy for me. Yesterday is even better. Or oh, today is better than yesterday. And the right thing is, today should be better than yesterday. Me, you are renewed. You put all this together, you can't, you, you are can't, you have to, you, you have to balance your account. What is wrong with me? What have I done? Where am I coming from? You reconcile your account. Yesterday, today, and next. What have I done wrong? Before you pray, this is what you need to do. If not, you will not know what to pray for and how to ask. But today, you just say, Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, do for me. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, do for me. What? You have not reconciled your account. You have not think over your life. You have not think over concerning yesterday, today. You have to reconcile yourself. Many things you, you did wrong yesterday, today, you are able to put it right. You will need strength to do more. You need, then you know what to pray for. By the time you sit down and, and reconcile your journey yesterday, today, you may realize that all you need to say is, thank you, Jesus. You may not ask anything again. You may just say, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Even before you begin to say thank you, you will start crying. If you are able to reconcile your account well. Yesterday, today, you put them, what have I done yesterday? What am I doing today? I might live better yesterday or today. I'm still doing the same thing. Before you finish reconciliation, you will start crying. Is it that you start crying or you start laughing? And say thank you, Jesus. So this is how to pray. We don't just jump to prayer. We don't just enter and begin to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. No. So by the time you reconcile yesterday, today, and you will know what to say, then the word will come from the heart. You can now say thank you, Jesus. I'm about to read your word. Give me a healing heart. A healing heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You can open your Bible and start reading. You read, you read, as you read each paragraph. Don't rush. If you are alone, read aloud. If you are alone, read your Bible aloud. Are you clear? If you read aloud each statement that is personal, incite your name. Summarize, put a summary. Each time you read, you, have, you need exercise book. You have to write just something down. If there is any statement you don't understand, then you can consult your evangelist or your pastor for it. For more detail. So then you can now think about this is what you are going to meditate now. You put your Bible aside, you have something to meditate, you can begin to meditate. At the beginning, it may be very difficult for you to talk with your heart because you are used to talk with your mouth. Anytime you want to talk, you say, See, over my, over my life, be broken. In the name of Jesus. And you are alone. Whom are you talking to here? Oh Lord, take more of me and give more of you, your faithfulness, your kindness, and you are alone. It's not normal. Because you are used to it. Now it is time to talk with your heart. Count with your hand and talk with your heart. Tell your neighbor, count with your hand and talk with your heart. Yes. The, the greatest battle lies in our hearts. The battle you are seeing now, it's a gun in east, gun in south, bomb in everywhere. It's a my, my new battle. The greatest battle 
is in our hearts. If you are able to overcome the battle in your heart, you overcome the battle all. It is manifestation of heart that we are seeing on the outside. When you see war outside, it is manifestation you are seeing. What makes you what you are is in the heart. What destroys you is in the heart. What builds you is in the heart. What makes you success is in the heart. What repair you is in the heart. It is what comes from the heart, what is in the heart that makes you what you are. So we have to, we, it, I know, sometimes I don't know. So you are here to learn when it is time for prayer. I will pray aloud so that you repeat after me. And you, I will now say, prayer, you start. Do you know when you start? Yes, you start. It will come to stay when, I, when you come here and I say prayer, it is your heart that will start. <laughs> you can see. Before I will know you, you are in the spirit. You are, you are covered with the cloud. You started jumping, jumping around, jumping around, jumping around. So, if you have not meditate, you cannot have a revelation. Meditation brings what? Revelation. revelation. When you go for recreation, what do I mean by recreation? You decided you want to stay somewhere and pray. You leave town, your family, you, what many people call Monte, that I'm going to Monte for three days. It's not to go there and begin to say, Oh Lord, do it for me. If you go to many Monte today or recreate a place, you see them, hey, 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 noise everywhere. That is not recreation. That is not. It's a place where you enter, you go for a recreation, you just enter, you have a chalet there, you have accommodation there, they give you a key, you stay there, you go to the mountain, you want to pray, you lie down. It is when you want to praise God, you can stand up and begin to praise Him. Whatever you are saying at that moment, you have to learn how to build, how to talk with your heart. So that when you sleep, it is your heart that will remain. Your flesh is gone, but your heart is alive. If I'm talking to you, let us your hand. Tell your neighbor, when you are asleep, you are asleep. your flesh is gone, your, flesh is gone. Your, heart is your heart is alive. Who will be talking to you if you learn only how to talk with your mouth? What of if you are asleep, asleep? And Satan is coming to press you down. You need to wake up to, to face Satan. When you wake up, will you see Satan? That is what has happened to many. I, want, I don't want to mention anyone. There was a time I was just sitting down. Some uh, a sister, a brother, they was just sitting opposite. The next thing I hear, money, money, money. I said, only care. Tell me you are sleepy. By the time you awake, I say, what happened? You say some people came with gun, they want to attack. Just now you sleep? You say, yes. Ah. Honey cannot help you. Only two, they are chasing honey up and down. <laughs> only two has its own problem. So we don't, because I say, because you don't talk with your heart. When you are asleep, it is your heart that will be alive. Your body is gone. Now, why you are saying, honey, honey? Already you are awake. And Satan is not in the, in the flesh. He is not in the flesh. We are not fighting the flesh and war. But war, spirit being. Glad for Jesus. Sir. <laughs> Satan is not in your blood. When you see somebody who just wake up and say, ah, ah, sit, ah, ah, my honey, my honey, and Saturday is awake. The blood and float is 
everything is okay. You can't fight Satan like that. Then at that moment he's shouting, hey, my own, my own. Satan is gone. He has taken whatever he wants to take. When you are fighting in, in the spirit in your heart, you will still be sleeping. People will see you sleeping. You have finished the battle. By the time you are awake, you will start telling people what you've gone through. And while you are going through it, nobody knows because you are, you are asleep. That is, that is the real dream. That is the vision. The nightmare you have, you're only shouting. You see, you, you will see your husband sleep, sleeping beside you. Before you know it, your husband will start saying, Leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. Ah, my dear, who is that? <laughs> who, is, who is to leave you? Leave me, leave me. I say, my dear, what's up? I say, no, no problem. I just, uh, don't worry. Not lie. It's Gardner that is pursuing him. <laughs> The gardener he employed is the one pursuing, but he will not tell the wife. He will just tell the wife, don't worry, don't worry. I think I'm, I was very tired. I walk all throughout. It's just, which is just, he doesn't want to tell you. And such dream you don't understand, you cannot remember. That is why you don't remember your dream. If there's anyone that claims that I don't dream or I don't remember my dream, Okay, find time to sleep with the person side by side. You will know that that person used to dramatize, you see that? Okay, okay, okay. When are we going? Well, we go to the desk. Okay, eh? Huh? Tell me what are you saying? Okay. You will sleep again. You will continue to sleep. You cannot understand that. Take note again, when you are sleeping, your heart is alive. Our we Christian heart means spirit. When you are asleep, your heart is alive. I mean your spirit is alive, but your body is gone. You cannot fight Satan alive uh, with your flesh. It is your heart that will do the fight, your spirit. And when you don't know how to talk, and you have not been talking to, to, to God with your heart, how will you fight Satan? This is why you don't dream. This is why you have nightmares. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Let me you see your hand proper, if I'm talking to you. If I take it back again. Okay, it's, it's written here. You cannot fight Satan with your wall. It is your heart that will do that, that will do it. Because faith is of man's heart. Put it, my brother, there because of our critics. Because of our critics. Put it. Faith is of man's heart. Put it under. Yes. Because faith is of man's heart. Thank you. Glad for Jesus. Right? <laughs> so that the, the critics will understand what we are talking about. Because they're always looking for faults. Okay? So, you cannot fight man with your flesh, but with your heart. Because faith is of man's heart. And put it again, that when you are asleep, your body, your flesh is gone. But your heart, which we Christians regard as spirit, is alive. So this is why we have to learn how to talk, not only when you are asleep, but when you are looking, when you are walking, when you are moving. There are some company that the owner of the company does not want to hear your faith. You will soon re realize that the owner of the company does not want to, to, to hear your faith. You can easily deliver that owner of the company when you are talking with your heart. You will not, uh, you will not be looking. And the, the, the battle is going on in your heart. You will day, one day say, Ah, come here, tell me about your God. That is the job you are doing in your heart. But not begin to disturb yourself, shouting the name Jesus everywhere. Hey, the name of Jesus. <laughs> no. Now, once again, put it on the screen. When you are asleep, your flesh is gone. As a Christian, 
but in your heart, which we regard as spirit in the Bible, is a lie. This is why we have to talk to our God with our hearts. You have not been talking to your God with your heart. It's not only when you are alone. As you are sitting down now, you are supposed to be talking your, with your heart. Nobody will see the lips moving. Your lips, unless you want to praise God, you can sing. But what you are saying is there. In case attacker come to you one day, attacker, the only thing, the only weapon you have is heart. Why you say surrender and put gun here? You, you, you raise flesh. If you surrender, if you say I should surrender and I do like this, does not mean I surrender. It is Mr. T.B. Joshua that raised hand. But what of the prophet? And the prophet is the proprietor, is the motto of Prophet T.B. Joshua. People say, rise up and let us pray and you should to sit down does not mean you are very stubborn does not mean you don't want to stand up it is your body your spirit could maybe standing your spirit may be standing that does not mean you don't believe what we are doing here it does not mean you are arrogant it does not mean you are stubborn there are many look at everyone is sitting there are many of you that are standing here I can see some people standing. Do you see, can you see it? Can you see them? Some of them are standing. I will soon deliver them. <laughs> they are standing. I see everybody is sitting, but they are standing. They are standing. So, thank you once again. We are telling you the pattern of this to re, refocus and readdress you. We have gone astray. We Christian. You only believe that when you are in your altar, you can pray. Many of you will not pray from morning. When you leave home, you will be on your altar. You say, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, protect me. I'm going to walk now. Merciful God, you are worthy, you are worthy. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I'm going to meet this man, let the man show mercy and give me the contract in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going. Such a person, until he or she come back home before you do another prayer. Can you see the life we are living? Now, it's going to work. And we, we, we have forgotten that a break in faith is a break in God. Already he has offered prayer. I believe and his belief is when he come back home and when God protect him to come back home, he will also go back and pray before he will sleep. That is all. No. This one, any place can be the best place. 
why you are going, why you are looking at me. By then you will have trained yourself how to meditate in your heart. When you are looking at a vehicle you are about to enter, before you get there, you begin to say, God, reveals to me if I should enter this vehicle. Is that the right there place I'm going? Who is this man I'm about, I'm about to meet? You will be driving and the cloud will cover you to show you that go back. Where you are going is not right. The place you are now, as you are sitting down, you will be telling you that you have to leave now, 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 now. It is time to hear a revelation so that Satan will not just be getting you on PPA. Are you, are you with me? So, can't your faith mean speak the language of the Bible? When you begin to speak the language out of the mouth, out of the abandon of the heart, tell me, out of abandon of the heart, I can't hear you. Out, out of abundance of the heart. What about? But today, language have taken over your life. Language of today. Gossip have taken over your life, and because out of abundance of the heart, mouth speaks. Those language are the language you speak because you are pregnant of those language. Now, this will re, 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 restate you, readdress you, refocus you. You will now begin to speak the word of God because you live in it and it lives in you by meditation. So, thank you. Now, the blessing God has given us now is that it's so beautiful that you can express your faith in, in your fashion. That you can choose color. No matter how beautiful the attire, you'll find a beautiful color that fitted the attire. Like you are sitting down. You're supposed to be with and begin to count your faith. The only thing I will see in you is to agree with me. You just agree with me. Or, why you agree with me, you just voice and begin to sing yourself. But what you are saying, I don't know. I can only know by the heart. Heart to heart. Because I don't need to know because you are talking to God, not me. You are not talking to me. You are talking to God. Why should I know what you are saying? Why should, you, why should you want people to know what you are saying in your house? When you begin to say, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, go by the blood of Jesus, when your neighbor, they are there, some uh, other religious, in your neighbor, your house, and they are not the one you are talking to. Why are you keep shouting and talking to, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus? When you are not witness, you are not going out to evangelize, we understand that. So we continue next meeting. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So where we stop now is faith can't. We start there tomorrow, like I have shared. Most especially when, when there are many times you are alone, you are in trouble, trial, like I say, we learn more in trial than what? than joy, you learn more. Because trial are the soil in which faith flourish. Tell your devil. I can hear you. Trial are the soil in which faith flourish. That is the soil. So we learn more in trial.
So, yes, come to anointing water. We have had, we have received a lot of things that are almost 300 people that are waiting, and I have to stop them because the time was just, I say, stop it. Let us hear the deliverance. Let us hear the healings. That is why they bring healing. There are almost 300 that are waiting to share their testimony of anointing water, just the one, the, the spray on them. Just like that. There is a video they sent to me. Almost, we have received almost 200 videos now from people that have collected. I want them to show you just one. They will show you just one out of 300 videos we received because I told them they should camera whatever happened for testimony because it's, it's right like that. Let me show you just one. There is one that a friend, they are, these are the friends some of your friends you don't know whom they are you know in our life we have people that add people that subtract people that divide people that multiply are you with me in our life there are four people in your life tell your neighbor there are four people in your life friend that add subtract divide Multiply. multiply as everybody is here today you have four people in your life people in your life people that you know not only friend family friend distant relations or uh, oh uh, they, they are fourth category of people people that add when you meet them you have a record that all since you meet them they have been added to your life you see even if you don't have without even let them know you will not know how they will know they will come to your life and do one or two things you can give a record of so much they have had joy material finances relationship peace comfort you meet them but these people are very few, but they are in your life. You may not know. Some would divide everything you have. The day you meet them now, they will start dividing your life. <laughs> Whether it's little or big, they will start dividing your life. Dividing your life, dividing your peace, dividing your favor, mercy, people that want to help you, they will divide their mind. You just see that they, ah, ah, ah. That is, that is, that is their mission in the world. That is their world. Their mission. You can't stop them. It's only God that can deliver them. There are other that will multiply. The day you meet them, they will start multiply the blessing in your life, the peace, the comfort, and so on and so forth. And other, they subtract. So you have four people in your life. So out of 200 videos we have, let us see. I think this sister was just when he, uh, immediately he arrived in the country, he called people, they were eating dinner, dinner right round table. He now said, ah, I, I, came, I just came back from synagogue. This is a new anointed water. Before you know, you spray it on all of them, friends. One say, ah, 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 A woman who received the new anointing water on her visit to the Synagogue Church of All Nations took it back to her country and ministered it to her friend while they sat together at the dinner table. See how the evil spirit in her friend manifests and how she was set free in Jesus' name. Can you see food on the table? They abandon the food. <laughs> uh, 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 plate, please. No! From where? From where? 
the other people they have run. <laughs> they, they, they were sitting at the round table. When they spread, the, one say, I'm doing, I'm doing. Other say, ah! <laughs> they run. It's now the only two of them are battle now. Let's watch. Let's watch. Uh -huh. Hey! Who are you? I'm no, not doing that. So they were sitting around and they were eating. Everybody carried their plate and <laughs> disappeared with the plate. He just said, oh, I'm just coming from the synagogue. This is a blessing. He just prayed it. Before you know one, two, three. Ah! 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 Other, they have never seen such a thing. He now remain only her. These are the Thai friends. So it will help you. It will really help you. When you are going somewhere, it's not necessary. You behave like a, 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 a Pharisee and Sadducee. And you, uh, no. Just remove it without everybody. Just one. The whole room, the whole hall, the whole atmosphere there. Look at this big synagogue. If you just enter any entrance here, and you just enter the... Anybody that sits here, they're in trouble unless they have the pure spirit. It will help you. I, I, I know you must have listened to the testimony of people today. Huh? A lot of testimony. So I will have asked them to start the testimony by the time. We, this is about four. And I need to do my job. And uh, so we have the anointing water and the faith bracelet, it goes together. It's together. So it will really help you. This bracelet I'm talking about, in fact, like sometimes you, you, you find yourself very tired. Able to take your bath. By the time you come back from work, you're so tired. The next thing you just went straight to the bed. By the time you lie down, this is the only thing that will remain. And you lie down and begin to meditate before you finally sleep with it. Final. The journey is smooth. The journey is smooth. Sometimes you, you, you are confronted with temptation so tough it is time to take a decision whether to go or to do it, it's leave you with this. With that temptation, you now begin to say, Lord, give me your inner, inner mind to choose. So I want to really assure you that God loves you. That is why you are here. We, we, we try our best to give as much as what God give it to our heart to give. But one thing is clear, issue of money is not coming now. There's nothing like money, and you cannot take more than one. You cannot receive more than one. If they show you the package of this, you will know, those who have received it, they know what they have received. But there's nothing like money. We give you free because I know get restore your spiritual life. It's a great blessing for me. This and anointing water go together. It will go together like that. So, if God has restored you, because do you know the, some of the challenges we are facing? When your spiritual life is restored, you will know how to give. Because when you give out of flesh, you give.
because of demand give you something but when you give out of the spirit out of the heart you will give because god instructs you to give Amen. so i don't want anything to affect it so i want you to give from your heart not from the flesh so a situation where you give from the flesh because man of god give you this you give no that will not be a blessing to me you may give me trillion dollar when is there is no grace or blessing of god on trillion dollar i think i'll give account on it on the last day i want a blessing that carry grace of god Amen. take note of that when you give from the from the heart you give out of joy out of peace out of comfort but when you are not beginning to give from the flesh you find yourself giving it because he gave me this i give him yes. you begin to equate this okay buy and sell i mean i think i know it has to do with your spiritual life why you are like this because your spiritual life is not constant it's not stable today you are right another day another day you don't know where you are going yes jesus is lord today another day you begin to look at jesus in a bad light because of challenges you are facing yes. and when challenges come you begin to think you don't have faith. You measure your faith by your challenges. We measure our Christian life by our situation. Because you have problems, you are not a Christian. Does not mean you are not a Christian. A man may have a huge problem, yet a friend of God. We, we measure our Christian life by our situation. When you have situation, you say, I have no faith. That is why I have problems. When your prayer answer, you say, I have faith. When your prayer is not answer, you say, you have no faith. And you don't know sometimes when you ask something, for some reason no to God, God may not give you. That does not mean you don't have faith. And faith is a heavenly currency that possesses heavenly thing. If you don't have a amount of thing you are asking for, you are asking for biscuit from God. And that business is heavily thin. And faith is heavily currency. And the biscuit you are asking from God is five dollars. But you are having thirty dollars, which is your faith. So when you now get to God, you will not be able to receive that biscuit because it's five dollars and you have thirty dollars. You have to go back and energize, meditate more and have enough faith to collect that. That does not mean you are not a Christian. Tell your neighbor, faith is heavenly currency that purchases heavenly things. If you don't have a amount of currency, heavenly currency, to purchase heavenly things, but you have currency, but it's not a amount of currency you need, that does not mean you are not a Christian. You just have to go. Or what you want to purchase is not the right thing for you. God knows the right thing for you. But you say you need a, a private jet and you want to get that private jet. And God knows that this private jet will not do you good in future. And God loves you so much. And you are now beginning to ask God, I want private jet, you need money. That, for one reason and the other, that will be delayed. That will be certain thing that will not allow you to purchase because God loves you. That does not mean you are not a Christian or you... you it could be to strengthen your desire. It could be to keep you for a new level in life. God may delay you not to get what you want because he wants to keep you for a new level in life. Or God may delay what you are asking for because he wants to strengthen your desire for him. God may delay what you want in order to, 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 to stop you a while and to re-energize you that money receive knowing to God. So take note. 
Faith is heavily currency. Tell your neighbor. That possessing heavily things. So it's heavily currency. So don't measure your Christian life by situation you have. That you have situation does not mean you are not a Christian. You just need to ask. Not all the situations are caused by your sin. There are sickness and there are a sickness. There are some sickness that are caused by pressure and tension. You, are, you don't sleep, you walk tired. So much you will not eat. In the morning you will not eat, in the afternoon you will pursue, you walk, 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 walk. By the time ulcer, a sickness called ulcer now come to your life. There is another person that have ulcer by sin. There is another one that have ulcer by this because he, he doesn't see it at the right time. So therefore this ulcer and this ulcer, they are different. Your sickness is not like other. A Christian may seek, yet be a child of God. Tell your neighbor, my situation is not like other. So thank you. Hallelujah. So um, by the time this anointing water and the faith bracelet is given, it will be given by grace. If you are not receiving, don't let it affect your faith. We begin to give it gradually, 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 until you get to your turn. Maybe your turn, some, we have given almost 10,000 all over the world. So today, we make sure at least, if it's not today, if you close late, they will give you maybe invitation for some day or next Sunday, but depend. You know, something we don't get by money should not be by power of mind. You, you, if I'm talking to you. Something you cannot get by money. We don't fight to get it. Abi, can you fight for something free? <laughs> you can't fight for something that is free, that you cannot get by money. It's just give, a gift. You don't fight for it. It comes, you pray by, with your heart. You need it, and God knows you need it. Okay? Thank you. Hallelujah. So I want to appeal to those who are waiting to share their testimony. So please, uh, you are coming back with Mother of Miracle. Brother, hey, I'm happy to see this. This is what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm giving you, come, come. Uh -huh. Now, look at what you put. I understand this. This is let love lead. And this love we are talking about is Christ himself. But the back of it, you are now putting my picture. And this picture now is not Prophet T.B. Joshua, it's Mr. T.B. Joshua. How can you carry human being? You carry human being. You are added to your problem. Because human being flesh and blood. This is Mr. T.B. Joshua. Prophet T.B. Joshua, you can't find him in the picture like this. Okay? Remove this picture. This is, we understand this one. So please, thank you. And I know those who have those pictures, those who have those pictures, where? This is, those pictures are Mr. T.B. Joshua. You are not here for Mr. T.B. Joshua, you are here for Prophet T.B. Joshua. And the Prophet T.B. Joshua is man of the spirit. Okay? So it's not, you can't just grab him with your hand. Or oh, the picture you are taking now is not uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. It's, it's not the prophet, it's Mr. T.B. Joshua. Don't mistakenly carry Mr. T.B. Joshua. You are compiling your problem. You are adding to your problem. Because Mr. T.B. Joshua will not be able to rescue you. It's Jesus Christ. Eh? And his servant is prophet. So try, I'm not trying to hurt you. It's like I'm carrying your picture. If I carry your picture now, well, maybe I'm carrying diabetes and uh, stomach ulcer. 
<laughs> I will just carry, if I carry your picture now, maybe I'm carrying diabetic or stomach ulcer. Eh? So please, thank you. I know you quite understand. This is why the Lord said I should give you this. So that you can, look, you will help me when you have this. Ask me, how? how? Can you imagine? In a week, no one will come to me and say, this is what the Lord says. Eh? Look at the congregation. At least you must see this for your pastors. You must come to me and say, Man of God, this is what God has shown me about you. This is what is going to happen. This is what has happened. This is what God wants you to do. I'll say, Thank you. <laughs> but you are not seeing anything. The only thing you see is anointing water. <laughs> how I will give you anointing water how many anointing water you want to receive and faith bracelets imagine we have many that say vision that is the right way to help man of God you pray you pray for the man of God you ask God to strengthen him and if that prayer is from the heart when you sleep or a cloud will cover you, you see this one. God will say, go and tell my son. Go and tell your prophet that this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. You say, in that vision, you say, how will I see him? The Christ is too much. When, when, when I send you to my prophet, already I've informed him that you are coming. When you now get to synagogue, before you meet one person and say, I want to see prophet, the person will just, God will just use the person to usher you straight. If that message is from God. So when you have this, it will help me more than it will help you. Because imagine how many million people that will be seeing vision, revelation concerning the ministry, concerning TV Joshua, concerning evangelists, concerning the wise men, and come here to tell me and true revelation and I mean and I mean when I remember that some people are somewhere million people are somewhere praying and God is showing them what is happening here I will have I will close my eyes where and sleep <laughs> see all this revelation I used to see in many countries the vision concerning another country God will now begin to show you and say, go and tell the prophet. Instead of me to see it, it's you that they will show. Man of God, this is what I saw in this social country happen. By the time I pray, exactly I confirm what you are saying. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I will respect you the more. It will help me more than it will help you. It is my joy to give you. Because you begin to see revelation. If people of vision, people of revelation surround a prophet and pastor, that pastor will never lack spiritually. How? Ask your neighbor, how do you help me? Ask your neighbor, how do you help TB Joshua? In which way are you helping TB Joshua? Answer. There is no help. Many of us have been a, a, a left hand to TB Joshua instead of right hand. There is a right hand, there is a left hand. Right hand can carry much and can do much, but left hand, there is little you can do. What right hand can carry and move? When you talk of hell, it's not issue of financial or whatever you are talking about. This is vanity upon vanity. No matter how rich you are, that cannot stop Satan. No matter how rich, how worthy you are, that cannot stop Satan. Rather, it helps Satan. And whom are we fighting? Who? Satan. You should be in, of help in that area. A 
in that area. You should be of help in that area. Then you become valuable, a valuable to the prophet and God. If not, your real value has not been discovered. When ministers of God, we, we pray for the crowd, we pray for the membership, we pray for big church, we pray for large crowd, we want to have the largest crowd in the world, an assembly of largest crowd we want to be, we want to have the largest crowd, we want to have churches everywhere, every look, look and corner, all over the world. But there are people and there are a people. Superstar, musician, when they come to the stadium, during the life of Michael Jesse, if Michael Jesse enter any country, I don't think any pastor can pull crowd like Michael Jesse. The crowd has nothing to do. That, does, that is not the identification that you are a man of God. The type of crowd you have is what we talk about. If the whole seat is occupied by the president of nation sitting in front of the man of God, almost 10 presidents sitting in front of me and I'm minister and you are watching at home, don't see me as a luckiest person. Presidents and king and queen are not the identi identification, authentic identification to prove that this man is a man of God. So, I want you to be the right, right assistant, not left assistant. So, I know God can use you by meditation and revelation come. When you begin to have revelation about your pastor, about the ministry, about the Christian at, in the world, about nations, about yourself, about your friend, know God's opinion. Satan cannot catch you unprepared. So this will bring about revelation. When you begin to meditate the name Jesus and, and, and you begin to flush out today's language and now the language of the Bible is now in, in your stomach. Out of abundance of the heart, mouth war, this will help you. If you, for one week, if you have it, if somebody touches Jesus, because you are full of Jesus, not my only, my only. You listen to me? Like you are sitting down, if something just grab you and try to press you, or let's assume something is about to enter here to catch you. Hey! The name of God is not hey. Because you don't have that name. What is the name of God? You have the name of God through His Word, by His Spirit. By meditate in His Word, you have His name, and His name bring about Himself, and about Himself give, bring about revelation. When something comes, hey, my honey, my sugar. Not, not your bitter leaf. <laughs> she will feel your response. So, where are we going? <laughs> so, this, out of abundance of heart, mouth space. Like I have told you, take note. When you are sleeping, your flesh is gone. Your heart, I mean, your spirit is alive. If you don't begin to speak in your, with your heart, how will you conquer Satan when you are sleeping? Because when you are sleeping, you can't open your mouth. It is when you are awake, you say, hey, hey, and then Satan has gone if you are awake. Satan will not come to you like this. Because it's a spirit being.
So, like I have said, the anointing water with this, there is no one who will give anointing water without this. So, by giving you, you too also be in one accord with me in spirit, in prayer, so that the whole thing will go. Even those who want to give you, you could imagine they are somewhere praying. They will not just carry and giving you. It's something that has to do with your heart. Something you have to that have to transform you. So that is it. No one will come back and say, no, it's not like that. Because God knows your disposition. Your name, your disposition. And the thought of your mind before giving you. Hallelujah. And uh, we have received so much email. You are asking for your pastor, the wise men. For the past three weeks now, you have not received them. Yes, fine. They will come out. They have to come to the congregation with greater grace than bigger than anointing water. Because anointing water has taken over their job. When you see when they spray anointing water, what anointing water is doing in a second, women cannot do it. If I'm talking, raise up your hand. If they spread it here, people at the back here, they will fall in spirit and begin to confess without anybody touch them. If they spread it here, you see people out there begin to jump in and begin to confess without anybody touch them. So therefore, this is a challenge to all of us that they are coming back is to come in a greater anointing than anointing water. They cannot come out and begin to do what anointing water can do. This is a challenge to us. God has a way of humble and humbling us. <coughs> when you see them out, they are coming out with greater anointing. And the under two minutes when you give this anointed water, they have finished the whole church. Because anointed water is so fast like a fire. If you just put fire here, it spread everywhere. Under two hours, it's gone. everybody is gone. So if we man, man is doing it, what anointed water can do under two hours, we are only six hours. Can you see the oppression? So therefore, this is the heavenly challenge we have now, that the Lord say greater anointing than the anointing water. Because God has bringing out something to challenge us. That, look, this is medium. Medium. This medium is doing this. So we are doing this. They cannot come out and be doing what medium is doing. We have to do greater because we are the greatest product of God. Water is not the greatest product of God. God anointed water and we are greatest product. If we are greater product, we should do greater than this anointed water. So, they are, they are in the presence of God asking for the greater grace. And we cannot wait to see this prophetic gift which only me coming out to say we want to see them also voice out this the prophetic way when they are saying it you think it's tb joshua or even greater than tb joshua saying it which anointing water cannot say anointing water cannot do anointing water will not come out and, and begin to prophesy so, okay. but we want them to do that what anointing water cannot do a great greater Operation. So that is it. So um, I've answered a lot of emails I've received. Some say, ah, for the past three weeks, we have not been seeing the wise men. Okay, and I know many people know the race. Okay, this is the race. I've answered your question. So thank you. And then you join us in prayer 
and pray for us pray for the wise men for the grace okay pray for the grace mighty grace for them okay so because they, they ask for your grace this is the time to they need you more when you are praying remember them in prayer and uh, please very important okay so I, I need to measure that hallelujah So I hope you will release me to go to the prayer line. So and I, for some time now I have not been exercising the, the prophetic gift. It's like a, a duty. It's like a, my nature. If I'm not doing it in a day, I don't know how I feel. Okay? But uh, there's need for, to educate you about this faith bracelet. Because which is not only to give you fish, you must also learn how to catch fish. So you can. Update. So we very soon. By the time this thing go around, we have ninety nine percent that have received it. On Sunday, we just come out and call those who have revelation. People can now begin to say that revelation. There should be period for revelation, testimony for revelation, the vision, the revelation you have about the nation, about the whole world, even fifty fifty. You, many members will see what is going to happen in another country, 50% of it, and the, the whole thing will not be on me alone. So we have to a search for that. As people come out for healing of cancer, people also will come out for revelation they have seen because of this. So I'm going to prayer line. I'm going to attend to the prayer, seek one. When I live there, I pray God will give me the grace to come back before we minister the anointed water. So the same anointed water you want to receive, like I say, when you minister it yourself, it's more effective than someone minister it to you. But if people are ministering to you and this manifestation is happening, what if, if you now have it and minister it yourself? See what, happen, what is happening all over. So they will minister it to you before we finally come out, I mean, before you finally receive yours. Okay, thank you.